Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. I thought my boyfriend was coming up the stairs and he does not know anything about my YouTube channel. So I had to like quickly hide. <laughs> But to get into what you're here for, let's go ahead and jump into the very first project pan update of this project. The first product is the CoverGirl Outlast Active, and I have started up here. I've made it down to here. And for those of you who didn't go watch the other video, I was sick for a while. And so I've only had about two, two and a half real weeks of progress on these products. So for two and a half weeks as opposed to a month i'm not mad at it but for a month of progress it it does need to be a lot more if i'm going to finish this by the end of the year so fingers crossed on that i can't go back in time but i will make it a point to be more diligent in using this product the next complexion product is the milani conceal and perfect concealer and I thought I would have made a lot more progress with this because I have been wearing this as my foundation. It's my foundation today. I do mix it in with something else, but I'm loving it as a foundation. It's a little bit heavy, but I do have dry skin and the weather has been a bit cooler. So even though it's heavy, it's not melting off my face the way it would if it were summertime or if I had oily skin, something like that. So I, I love it. It's getting old, so that's why we have it in this project pan. Um, I did already take the stopper out of it. So, you know, just keep on keeping on, but in general, I'm enjoying the product, and you know, that's how much progress I have as of this first update. Ah, sure, what's your matter? My dog is like grunting. He's the grumpiest little old man you've ever met in your life. He's so cute. And if my back didn't hurt, I'd pick him up and show you, but <laughs> you'll just have to trust me. Moving right on along to a complexion product. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Now, here's the deal. I don't like to use products that, this is what I, this is how I always describe it. I don't like to use products that my best friend can't use. And my best friend has melanin in her skin. She is a deep complexion. And if it's a product that I love that I couldn't be like, yeah, girl, go buy it. It's so good then it's not a product that I want to use because I feel like that's putting me in a place of privilege and I don't like it. So this is a product that I've been trying to pan. I have two of them in my collection and I will go ahead and show you the update as I'm yapping. But now Becca has been uh, bought out by Smashbox or joined together. I'm not really sure how all of that works. And they have expanded the shade range in this product. I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Um, I'm going to continue using this up because it's in my project pan and it's just a challenge, but I'm definitely not in any hurry to be like, ooh, I want this out of my collection. It makes me sick to look at it. That, that feeling is gone. And now I'm just using it because I love it. It's back to being my favorite. I'm so excited. <laughs> the only thing now is I wish I could find a drugstore dupe because this product is still inaccessible to some people based on their budget, which um, I do want to be cognizant of now that I'm having a YouTube channel. Still love this product. Not a lot of progress has been made because it doesn't take much to, to spread. Um, but yeah, we'll continue working on that. Now a product that has had a lot of progress. Literally today, as I was doing my makeup, something amazing happened. Are you ready? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. Okay, this is the Cover FX um, Perfector Face Palette and I, have hit pan on two products. Now this, I had already hit pan on the face powder um, about three or four days ago. Then I was trying the little TikTok hack where you mix your lip balm in with your bronzer or cheek product to turn it into a cream. And that is when I hit pan on the, the bronzer. Now, if you don't know, if you missed the first video, these are the, the blush and the bronzer are uh, franking, franking, <laughs> They're Franken palettes, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I get it honest. I was born and raised in the South, and it just comes out sometime. But they're Franken palettes, uh, Franken shadows. I can't talk. I give up. I'm going to have some coffee, and we'll come back in like five minutes. Five minute break. What I was trying to say before the crazy rudely interrupted, I really love having all-in-one face palettes. So I took my favorite bronzer, which is the Hula uh, Bronzer by Benefit, as well as the Sweet Peach cheap whatever 
and I've added them to this palette because I had already used up the bronzer and the blush. So this is a total face palette for me all over again. And I have hit my goal, which is to hit pan on one of those shadows. Um, you know, I haven't decided if I want to continue using this for this project or if I want to sort of retire it, if you will. I'm thinking I'll continue using it, um, but it is fall time and I'm starting to get to where I don't really want like peachy blushes. I want more berry blushes and neutral blushes. So I'll probably continue using it until the next update and then I will reconsider if I want to continue using this or retire it until spring. Now there is one product that doesn't have any progress, if you will, it's the Becca Poured Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I did add some oil to it and smear it around because I used it for one thing. I can't remember what now. Oh, I went on like a little Saturday date. Um, I'm going to a wedding next weekend though, and I know that I will use this on my decolletage area as well as my legs, just everywhere. I'll use this as a body highlighter mixed in with some lotion. And that's how I plan on using it up. So if you notice that it looks different from the last time that you saw this, that's why. It's because it's been moved around. But yeah, I've only got I've only gotten one like use out of it from the last time that you saw this product. So that's not very good, but I'm just gonna hide, okay? <laughs> you will not see any update like in usage from these two mascaras but what I will say is by the end of this project they will be gone because I'm using them every day and at that point I'll just be done with them if you will. A product that does have some some usage is this NYX micro brow pencil. I cannot get this to focus to save the life of me guys. I'm so sorry, but hopefully you can see the difference between last time and this time. Okay, let's hope this eyeliner focuses a little more. This is literally all I have, like such a little nub. This will be gone this week. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. This will be gone this week and the next update, it'll be gone, gone. And then this um, lip liner, there's barely anything left. So we can just compare it to last time. And I honestly feel like I'm about to be hitting the plastic part where I won't be able to sharpen it much more, but I wear this underneath everything. I wear it underneath blue lipstick, red lipstick. I was gonna say white lipstick cause we were doing like red, white, and blue just then, but I don't wear white, white lipstick. So that didn't really work. Anyway, that is the update on all of my products. I hope that you will subscribe so that you can see the next update in four weeks. And then there will only be one more before it's just completely finito. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't use any products up yet, but there's still more time. And so, you know, we're going to continue to hope for the best and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.